I call the member for Robertson. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I rise to congratulate some outstanding young people in my electorate who are excelling in their chosen sport. I know that many of us have, have dreams of always having a crack at sport at a higher level, but it's often difficult for families to meet the significant financial costs and demands that it entails. So I'm really pleased to say that through the government's local sporting championship champions program, we're enabling young Coasties aged 12 to 18 to kickstart their dreams. These grants deliver assistance towards the cost of things like travel, accommodation, uniforms, equipment, um, coaching or officiating when they're, when they're competing coaching or officiating at an official state, national or even international sporting event. And it really helps people who are travelling more than 125 kilometres as well, with grants of up to, two, uh, of up to $500. There's been a number of worthy recipients, but this round there are a number of people from my electorate, and I do say that we should remember these names because I dare say they could be people that you'll see in green and gold in years to come. Three basketball stars, Matthew Kenyon from Avoca Beach, who's had the opportunity to compete in the under-18 national basketball championships in Ballarat, as well as Terrigal's Charlie Evans. And Luke Cassidy from the great Gosford City Rebels had a similar opportunity in the under-16 national championships in Tasmania. 13-year-old Hannah Murray recently competed as the only girl in her team at the Australian Little League Championships for baseball, while Jacob Kirkio from East Gosford received a grant to represent his state in hockey and has a dream to one day play for the Kookaburras. Mackenzie Penn from Avoca Beach represented the coast in China last month, and she'll receive a grant for her outstanding efforts in track and field. And in November, 12-year-old Ashton Hurley from Terrigal will fly it to Adelaide for the Pacific School Games football tournament. Ashton's a striker and, who knows, may be hitting the back of the net for our Central Coast Mariners in seasons to come. Mr Deputy Speaker, we have a golfer, Jake Elliason from Greenpoint, who had a grant approved after his nomination for the state championships in Wollongong. Gemma Smith, who achieved nomination to represent Umina Beach Surf Lifesaving Club at the Pool Rescue Championships in Queensland, and she trains 12 sessions a week. She's a passionate local who deserves this support, support which could one day save a life on one of our beaches on the Central Coast. Madam Deputy Speaker, Kingcumber residents can rightly be proud of Justin Lenkovic after his recent achievements at the National Karate Championships in Adelaide. His grant will help get a new tracksuit and uniform. Sam Hutchison from Avoca will receive a grant to help with costs after the Junior World Sprints Canoeing Championships. And finally, we have the brothers Tom and Paula Bangang Cruz, boxers from Umina Beach, who next week have the opportunity to do a go toe for toe at the National Golden Gloves event in Queensland. Fantastic achievements from young sporties on the Central Coast. We are proud of them all, Madam Deputy Speaker. I thank the